you want to learn Framer, I'm going to show you how to use it within 10 minutes, the basics, so you can focus on creating cool websites. Let's get stuck into it. I'm actually using the desktop version. You can also use the browser version. But here is the main interface. So on the interface, you've got the left side sidebar. You've also got the top sections where you've got the files. So you can go to your dashboard. You can do quick actions. You can also filter through all these settings, which is cool. And on the right side, you've got the publish button at the top. You can also invite a team member to your workspace. You can also press the play button, which is the preview button to view the website. You've also got um, the page settings on the little cog. You can also click on the default language, which is localization. When we zoom in, you can hold Alt and move your mouse wheel and that should zoom you in. Here is our frame. When you click on this section, this is our desktop frame. And you can see if I zoom in up the top, it says desktop and it says the size. So right now, the width is currently 1200. If I click on this frame or this page, you can go to the right side and you can see all our styles on the sidebar. So these are all the CSS styles. You know, you can customize the layout, the size, um, the fonts, the colors, add drop shadows, basically everything you need to customize the design and layout of your website. So I can actually go here and change the breakpoint size. Now, all a breakpoint is, is basically at that size, this is what the website will look like. And if you click the plus button here on the right side of that frame, I can add a tablet view. I can also plus and add a phone view. So at each different size or view, the website will look a bit different. So obviously on mobile, things will be more, uh, the width will be shorter and tighter. So everything might be in more of a single column. And on desktop, you have more space to play around with. So now you can see we've got the three breakpoints. We've got desktop, tablet, and foam. So if I select um, this breakpoint, I can go to the width and change it to maybe 1440, and it will make it wider. And then I can just move it. I can hold shift and left click and drag, and I can have that there. I can also move these ones as well. I can also left click, and from the bottom, I'm gonna expand the height of the actual page of the website, which is super cool. That's how you change the breakpoints, the size, um, of that breakpoint on the right hand side. I can also change the background. So if I select in the styles, the fill, I can go ahead and change the color by just left clicking and dragging. And I want to select maybe a black color. I can also do gradients by changing to the gradient, as you can see. So maybe you want like a bit of a red gradient like this. I can move around that as well. So we can have something like this, which is really cool. So you really have full control over that. I can do a radial gradient, which will do this. You also have the option to do um, this type of gradient, which it has a specific split. And then you can also choose an image. Now on the left hand side, we have three options. We have our pages, our layers, and our assets. So a page is basically a simple page, home page. We can click the little plus button and add a new page. We can also add a CMS page if you want. So maybe it's for a blog or maybe it's for a team or anything that is going to be constantly being uploaded or changed or added to, then we can add a CMS page and I can just click new page. And there we have, let's call this the about page. So if I want to select a different page, you just click on it and it will take you there. If you want to change the name of your website, you can go to the top, click once, and I can call this new test site or portfolio, whatever. And you can see it's in my workspace. And if you want to change the name of a page, you can you can right click on it and click rename. So I can say contact page or we can call it services, whatever you want really. If you right click, you can actually duplicate, copy and delete. You can also set the home page as well. Maybe you're working on an old site and you do a revamp of the design and then you can set a new home page. So it's really easy to add as many pages as you want. Now, if I go to the next menu, we've got layers. Now layers is basically how you work in Photoshop or Illustrator or any type of app. It's got different layers. So right now we have no frame. I can insert a frame by pressing F and I can drag out a section like this. If I want to rename it, all you got to do is double click on that section and call it, let's call it hero section like that, which is super cool. And then within that, I can add things. So if I want to insert something, I can go to the top menu and click insert. We can insert pages. We can insert sections, the navigation for the navbar, menus, 
We can add a CMS collection list. We can add creative little bits like countdowns, patterns. We can add Lottie files, videos, images, music. We can add forms, icons. Um, we can add some interactive like search bars or tickers, which are really fun to play with social media and some other things like download buttons, embed codes, basically everything you need to build a custom website. You have literally so much freedom. So for this one, what I want to do is I want to quickly just add a section. I'll just go with the most basic one. I'm going to drag it and drop it into my page like this. As you can see, what it's done is it's got rid of the height and actually added that section in. Now I can fully customize the fonts, the sizing, and basically everything I need. So if I click on this header, you'll see all the style options on the right. I can change the size. I can change the styles, the text, etc. So maybe I want to change the font. I can click on the font here and maybe I want something a bit more playful. We can find a different font. So you can see there, I can just left click once and I can find a font that I like. You can also click custom and upload your own fonts as well, which is really cool. I can change the weight. Maybe I want to go bold. Maybe I want to change the letter spacing. We just click on the letter and maybe we'll just want to go minus 1.2 so it's not too tight. We can change the line spacing. We can align the text to the left or the right. We can select the paragraph style. I can drag the box to change the width. So I can either do it on the canvas or I can do it on the side. It's really, really up to you. I can also adjust the spacing. So you can see the when it's purple and it means all these elements are connected in a stack. So a stack basically combines all the elements to make it um, more flexible and responsive. On the left hand side you can see all this is within a stack and we've got the buttons there the header as well. You can see the icon, it's got two rectangles stacked on top of each other. And so basically it means I can drag this and it's going to affect the gap or the spacing between each element. So on the right hand side, we've got a gap. I can drag it from here or I can use my mouse and just drag it like this. I can also add a section as well. So maybe I want to add a new section, left click on that and it should add it just like this. If I want to change the and maybe I want to change the color, so I'm going to change the fill color, as you can see. Or if we just make it transparent because our background is black anyway. And then what I can do is on the right side, I can change my text color to right, which is pretty cool. And maybe I want to, you know, make this a different color. We can do that as well. Maybe more of a bluish gray. We can do that. I can go ahead and insert a nav bar as well. We're just going to insert something really simple. Let's go with a black navbar, drag and drop that in. And there we have it. We already have the workings of a really cool site. Now, apart from layers, you've also got assets. Now, assets, you can save components, styles, or code. So a style is similar to like a graphic style in Adobe Illustrator. Basically, you can save a specific style of text. So if maybe the headline, we like this headline, maybe we just want to make it a bit bigger, maybe 70 pixels. I can save this as a style. So what I can do is click plus and you can see text style there and I can make this heading one. So now anything that is set to a H1 will have that same style and that will show up in your assets. If you have a button that you're working on and maybe we want to have a button that's like blue, I can also save this as a style or create a component. So I can right click create a component and we'll just call it main button blue. And now we can see we have a component. We can also add different variations, different hover states as well. But for now, I'm just going to keep it simple and leave it like that. And so now what we can do is I can go to my assets bar and maybe I want to expand this section. I can add some more padding there on the bottom. I can drag and drop my button down here. So it's really easy to add elements, customize everything you want and start building the website. And then once we're you know, pretty happy with the website. Maybe this button, we want it to connect to something. So I can always right click and you can see in this button, I can detach the instance. I can copy it. I can paste it. I can lock it. I can do whatever. So I can detach it if I want to add a link. So I'm going to go to the top right, click on the link section. You see the bar has a plus. I can click that and maybe I want to send this button to the contact page. And if I press play and put my mouse over the button now and I click it, it will go to the contact page and obviously I haven't built anything for there 
and then you can press escape and it will take you out of the preview mode. Maybe I want to add a quick little, say, animation. I'm going to select the header. I'm going to go to the side and add an effect. An effect is basically interactions or little animations. I can do a appear. So on a P, it will fade in, or I can maybe slide in from the bottom. I can click on effect to change the timing on it. So I want just an ease, and maybe we'll delay it by one second. Okay. And let's play. Boom. You can see it moves, fades in from the bottom, and that's how we can start to add little animations to our website and overall make it really cool. Now lastly, you can obviously have your layout, so you can add frames, rows, columns, grids, images and videos. You can also add text, you can also add a CMS as well, which I'll talk about in another video. I'll put a link below, you can try out Framer, use my code Jeremy at the checkout to get a little discount. If you want to see some other web design resources, I do have a video right here where you can get free web design resources.